Eric Goodbranson, easy transition here. He's on the move. For Tanner Pearson, one for one, no salary retained. That tweeted out by Chris Johnston. The Penguins, as I stood next to Kevin Weeks more at the stadium series, you point out that because of the way games unfold minute to minute, plans change. Could this have been influenced by what we watched at the link? Absolutely. What we had the privilege of watching at the link because what an amazing game it, yes, was it was in that stadium series game with the Pens and, of course, the Flyers hosting there. But I will say this, Tone, you're spot on. The injury to their ace defenseman, blue liner, Chris Letang, who for me is in that Norris Trophy conversation. Mm -hmm. He's been tremendous so far this season. And then Dumoulin as well, who's been yep. very good and steady for them. He also goes down. I said it all along. So now we know that they know they need some D. So they address that need by way of those injuries that took place in that game by acquiring Good Branson. I've been a Good Branson guy since he came into the league. He's new school, old school. He's got jam. Yep. Yes, there's some physical limitations. Yes, he's not the fleetest of foot and the most skilled defenseman in today's era, in a puck-moving era. But I'll tell you one thing. You need somebody to box out in front of your goalie, and you need somebody to pay the price. We talked about net front in your D zone in front of your own net, and he could provide some of that for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Yeah, good fit for both teams. Vancouver's weakness right now, even with their young players, is they don't have a lot of real quality wingers. Brock Besser, yes, he's great. Yes, they got Peters, Peterson, and yes, they have Bo Horvat down the middle. But they could add a few more wingers. It's a good trade for Vancouver. From, Van from Pittsburgh's standpoint, the Latang injury is supposed to be just short term. Mm -hmm. That's the good news. Not such good news is expected on Dumoulin, though. Mm. They needed to make a move quickly. They're in a dogfight all of a sudden. As you point, pointed out earlier, Weeksy, they are outside the playoffs right now. Not, a, not familiar territory for them. Do I think they'll be able to climb back in? Yes. But it doesn't look like the Carolina Hurricanes are going to be letting up anytime soon. They're playing well. Columbus now, you got to expect they're going to play well. It's going to be a dogfight for the Pens just to get in. I feel like they had to make this type of move. Mm -hmm. And Pens fans are wringing their hands saying, what about Justin Schultz? You know, we were without him for 53 games. Right. It is such a physical game.